it looks an absolute delight, this circuit under the lights. But will it be delight for Lewis Hamilton and a seventh consecutive pole? Will it be delight for Mercedes and another pole here in the deserts? Or will it be Ferrari? Or can Red Bull translate their pace from this afternoon session under the lights tonight? Really good camera angle, this one. Yeah, quite a, down, a little bit of a downhill braking zone. And then it'll nip, the corner nips. And you've got to get that part done, then it opens up for you. He was fastest overall in the first sector, lost a little bit to his teammate in the second, but matters not because he has gone fastest overall by nine one hundredths of a second. Kimi Raikkonen. So he got a little bit of vertical bouncing going on there, on the way it into the, the corner. Seat. I think it did come off his car, you're right. Only 11th fastest for Fernando Alonso. Danny Kvyat, 8th uh, fastest for him. So he puts himself into the top 10. And the bottom five include this man, Esteban Ocon, who we uh, ride on board with at the moment. And Ocon goes 11th fastest overall. So Marcus Ericsson and Kevin Magnussen, Lance Stroll, Sergio Perez, and Stoffel Van Dorn need to improve. Van Dorn hasn't. He's 16th fastest. Marcus Ericsson 70, uh, goes 8th fastest overall. Pascal Verlein, who put in a really good lap first time around, has been beaten by his uh, team. It's not sorry, been beaten by his teammate. It's the 13th fastest overall. Very good for Pascal Verlein. We look now to see Lance Stroll, who's got himself out of the bottom five, and that is Carlos Sainz, and he has stopped by the side of the track. So Carlos Sainz is going out. No power, no power. No power, no power, says Carlos Sainz after setting a blistering first sector. He has been thwarted by the Renault engine in that Toro Rosso. He is out of qualifying. Sorry for that, Carlos. Sorry for that. The positive was that uh, was coming a really good lap. Really good lap. You were powerful in sector one. Sorry for that. Yeah, I don't care. The big shot, really. Sergio Perez heading out in Q1. That is a great surprise. Verlein, who uh, was in Q2, of course, this time last year. Uh, here in Bahrain was 16th uh, for Marussia. Where's that uh, lap time going to put him? 13th fastest. Yeah, 39. Oh, it's miles off. So he's had a drama around there yeah. somewhere in the middle sector. So he's going again. Do you get the feeling Fernando Alonso is not going out at all, Martin, in this qualifying session too? What makes you think that? He's not going back out again. No. no he's not. has got a real chance here as he makes his way out of the final corner and he's setting personal best little mini sectors can he get inside the top 10 he can he's ninth fastest he's pushed his teammate Nico Hulkenberg out of the top 10 for the moment Fiat is in between them Esteban Ocon only gets 13th fastest now we look to see Danny Kvyat and he is 10th fastest at the moment uh, Kvyat can't uh, do anything about Nico Hulkenberg. Verline is 13th. We wait to see where Hulkenberg's going to put it. Fifth fastest for Hulkenberg. Once again, pace from him in the Renault. That pushes Danny Kriat out of the top 10. But his teammate, Jolian Palmer, Hulkenberg's teammate, Jolian Palmer, is going to go through to Q3. Now the back end sticking much better at the end of the lap. He's got the tyres where he needs it, and Ricardo goes over the line with a 30 flat. You're going to have to be in the 29s to be anywhere near the front row of the grid. Uh, Beth, best place fifth on the grid here in Bahrain before. Valtteri Bottas with the quickest time, 128.8. That That's a cracker. is what Hamilton and Vettel and Raikkonen are going to have to aim for. We'll see Max Verstappen over the line next, goes second fastest by eight tenths of a second. You get the feeling the other Mercedes, the two Ferraris, should be able to beat that. Hamilton goes quickest overall through the middle sector. Lewis Hamilton, two Poles so far this season crosses the line five hundredths up on his teammate. He's on provisional pole. He's on for the hat trick in the first three races of this year and the seventh consecutive pole in total for him. Just throw the car in. 
and see if it will stick because he's got nothing to lose now. Great lap by Nico Hülkenberg. He's a second off the pace, but he split the two Red Bulls. He's gone sixth fastest overall. Bottas crosses the line. He's back on provisional pole. Not by much, and but Hamilton's he's ahead of his teammate. Middle sector. You're absolutely right, Martin. Could we see Valtteri Bottas ending Lewis Hamilton's run of six consecutive pole positions? Can Hamilton make it back up again? It's all eyes now on the timing screens as he sees the checkered flag, crosses the line. He's not done it. Valtteri Bottas, for the first time in Formula One, has taken pole position. It is Mercedes on pole once again here in Bahrain because the two Ferraris not quite in the same ballpark here, but it's Bottas ahead of Hamilton. Here comes Kimi Raikkonen now for Ferrari. Raikkonen crosses the line only fifth fastest. Sebastian Vettel, can he get onto the front row? No, he can't. Third for him. He deserves that. Cracking. Cracking laps all the way through. So that is pole position, Valtteri. That is pole position. Be good. Woo! Yes. This is my first one, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Really happy. Unbelievable. Valtteri Bottas then. Waves to the fans on pole here in Bahrain this evening and on pole for the first time in his Formula One career.